Welcome to Tech Brothers with Amir. In this video, we are going to learn how to compare two databases by using a MySQL Workbench. So let's go ahead and connect to MySQL Workbench. Here I am connected with the two MySQL servers. I'm going to close this one, take you home and start over. So we go to home and here I have different connections created to MySQL servers. One of the server I'm like, uh, I would like to connect to is this MySQL Linux server. That's where our uh, database is the test um, okay so you can see test here and other server uh, that is the windows server and when i call say windows server it means i have installed uh, my sql server on uh, windows uh, okay so not in this connection manager in this one ad okay now from top uh, you can see that uh, i'm connected to two my sql servers in a workbench um, uh, let's uh, take a look on the first uh, the MySQL server. There we have a test database uh, and uh, the, we have uh, uh, some tables. Um, so you can see that I have department, department, uh, num employee table, department manager, employee, salaries and title uh, table. Okay, and uh, on the other database, uh, that's uh, uh, our MySQL on Windows uh, that we have test databases there, there as well. and. Uh, what we have there, we have a, a kind of a same table, but there are there is some extra table like compare DB table we did not see in the previous uh, uh, my uh, uh, test database uh, here on my uh, SQL on Linux. Uh. So we didn't see that uh, there are some other differences uh, in the columns as well. Um. So I made uh, those small changes to the this uh, database. Uh, what we would like to do, we would like to compare uh, these two databases uh, they are running on two different servers uh, um, and uh, see the report. Um, so how we can do that, uh, let's say we go to the MySQL uh, Linux server there and uh, from there what we need to do we need to go to database um, if i go to database uh, the document was kind of confusing too when i was looking at the um, mysql workbench document it say go to the database and you will see compare uh, databases are there i don't see that there so what you need to do you need to go to database then you go to the um, reverse engineering okay and once you open the reverse engineering then you can close this tab and here you have a mysql model now these tabs are also very um, modified so if you go to database now now you will see compare schema okay so first of all you need to be on the server on any server one of them and uh, then uh, what you will do you will go to database first there and uh, Comp uh, do the reverse engineering you are not doing really reverse engineering here actually you want to open uh, the mysql model uh, wizard or whatever you call this uh, whole thing so once this open then you will see the database uh, menu there with compare schema okay let's click there and uh, we are not comparing the uh, model uh, uh, schematas we are comparing live database servers so i selected the second option here and uh, the same one in the destination i did that hit next now you will be providing the source database in my case i'm going to select uh, mysql uh, my SQL uh, that I, I put the name as a Linux so I always remember like oh this is my SQL I have installed on Linux uh, okay and uh, that's the name of the host uh, that's the port I'm using using the username and uh, I have stored uh, the password in the wallet already so no no changes for me but if you don't if you want to do it just click here and provide a password hit next uh, and uh, now you will select the target database uh, so that's on our uh, 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 server called the MySQL AD that's uh, on Windows machine so that's uh, connecting to Windows machine and uh, MySQL server okay local host that's installed on our local disk windows where I'm working right now and uh, uh, user I'm using root port is uh, 3306 and password stored in wallet so I don't have to provide it uh, hit next uh, and uh, retrieve schema and to um, source and target schema names is getting that information so no issues with that okay hit next uh, now you will see the source schema so a list of those all databases or schemas available on our first server that we have choose as a source i'm going to hit uh, test database that's what i'm going to compare with the our target schema that's also test so you see that this is highlighted and when you click this one this is kind of grayed out so that's fine they are selected so just to click on those and hit next okay retrieving the information 
reverse engineering and all those kind of things and now this is the final report that we would like to take a look um, so in this uh, a catalog uh, difference report uh, you can find out okay uh, what happened a uh, table uh, test that uh, salaries were dropped so uh, the, i have dropped this table by myself uh, okay then uh, table test dot uh, compare db was created uh, in the destination so i created this uh, table in the destination and uh, just uh, uh, you know an extra table to show you if the table is created what it will show in this uh, report uh, so it tells like uh, whatever the columns it is has uh, and now if there is any change in the attributes uh, you can see that in your inner db default correct set uh, utf uh, 8 mb4 okay that's uh, uh, and uh, in the uh, default correlation is uh, this one so you can see the attributes if they are changed or different from uh, any other things you can see table uh, test that department employee was modified so i took this table department employee and made a couple of changes so one change added column from date of date type so that's i added an extra column so i can show you added column short name of uh, um, then I added uh, this extra column and I removed one of the column called from data in from the table so th that this report is pretty detailed report it shows you all the information if you have added a new uh, table uh, store procedure maybe routine and all those kind of different objects uh, also showed you if you have uh, made changes to the columns uh, so you can get that information uh, now you can copy to the clipboard and uh, close this report uh, and you want to go back to maybe your um, servers uh, let's say and you, you want to take a look like okay test dot salaries were dropped uh, so in this uh, this was our source and this was our destination and uh, you can see that uh, we don't have a uh, salaries uh, uh, table here compare table was created okay so if you see right here that's uh, created here so you can see right here and uh, with the columns and uh, we do not have that uh, table in uh, this our source uh, uh, mysql uh, server database uh, so we don't have that uh, compare db uh, here um, so this report helps uh, kind of uh, you know take a look uh, on the chain differences between two schemas or uh, uh, databases on uh, uh, mysql servers uh, thanks very much for watching this video and i hope this will help i will see you guys in next video